हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सुरेंद्र जैन मास्टर टीचर इन वेदांतु आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग यू दी सोल्यूशन ऑफ जेई एडवांस 2019 नाइनटीन दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन फ्रॉम पेपर वन दिस क्वेश्चन इज टेकन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक इलिप्स इन कॉनिक सेक्शन वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर जेई एडवांस लेट अस सी वॉट दिस क्वेश्चन इज डिफाइन द कलेक्शन ई वन कॉमा ई टू कॉमा ई थ्री एंड सो ऑन ऑफ इलिप्सिस एंड आर वन कॉमा आर टू कॉमा आर थ्री एंड सो ऑन ऑफ रेक्टेंगल्स एज फॉलोज ई वन एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन नाइन प्लस वाई स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर इक्वल टू वन आर वन इज द रेक्टेंगल ऑफ लार्जेस्ट एरिया विद साइड्स पैरल टू द एक्सिस इंस्क्राइब्ड इन साइड ई वन नाउ ई एन इज अनदर इलिप्स विच इज एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन ए एन होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर अपॉन बी एन होल स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन ऑफ लार्जेस्ट एरिया इंस्क्राइब्ड इन रेक्टेंगल आर एन माइनस वन फॉर एन ग्रेटर देन वन आर एन इज रेक्टेंगल ऑफ लार्जेस्ट एरिया With sides parallel to the axis inscribed in ellipse en for n greater than one, then which of the following options is are correct? A. The eccentricities of e18 and e19 are not equal. B. The length of latus rectum of e9 is one upon six. C. Sum of rectangles, sum of areas of rectangles as n varies from one to capital n is less than twenty-four. The distance of focus from the center in E9 is root 5 upon 32. Let us see how to solve this question. So we are given one standard ellipse whose major axis is along x-axis and minor axis is along y-axis. And we are uh, supposed to inscribe a rectangle whose sides are parallel to its axis. That means parallel to x-axis and parallel to y-axis. So let us call this rectangle to be A, B. C and D. I can take the coordinate of A as three cos theta, comma two sin theta, which is nothing but parametric coordinate of any any variable point on the ellipse. The point B can be taken as minus three cos theta, comma two sin theta. The y coordinate will remain same because this AB is parallel to x-axis, and x coordinate will be just negative of what it was for A. Why it is so? We can see it by symmetry also, and there is one more reason. Please understand, AD and BC they are of equal length. They are chords of equal length, and they both are parallel to y-axis. So one has to be on right side of y-axis, and one has to be on left side of y-axis with equal distance from y-axis. So their x-coordinate should be same. Only difference would be of minus sign. So that is the reason why B has. Diff, um, B has x coordinate that is minus of x coordinate of A. Okay. Similar to this, we can write coordinates of C and D. Now, sides of this rectangle are you can easily check six cos theta and four sine theta. So the area of this rectangle would be six into four, twenty-four sine theta cos theta, which I am writing twelve sine theta. 12 sin 2 theta so the maximum value of this area which will be actually area of this r1 so let me write this as a r1 will be 12 and this 12 will be when we take theta to be equal to 45 so this will give us the sides of r1 also sides of r1 would be if you put theta as 45 3 root 2 And two root two. These are the sides, and twelve is the area. Okay, let us go. Move, let us move forward. Now this blue one is the ellipse, and this black one is the R one. Okay, so I have already told you R one has sides to be three root two and two root two. Now we want one more ellipse. to be inscribed in this rectangle so that its area is maximum as you can see en if i take n as 2 we can read this as e2 and it will be ellipse of largest area inscribed in r1 so r1 we have found this is black color one so my e2 would be an ellipse that is inscribed in this rectangle and has maximum possible area and this maximum area will be possible only if this ellipse touches this uh, r1 rectangle 
at x axis and y axis then only its major axis minor axis will be maximum possible its area will be maximum possible and also are all these ellipses are standard one which means major axis is along x axis minor axis is along y axis now if this length of this rectangle are 3 root 2 and 2 root 2 then for this uh, ellipse e2 you can see semi major axis will be half of this 3 root 2 so we can write this as 3 upon root 2 similarly semi minor axis of this would be half of 2 root 2 I am writing this as uh, 2 upon root 2 why I am writing let, let me tell you uh, we were given E1 whose semi major and minor axis were 3 and 2 now for E2 we have found that it is 3 upon root 2 and 2 upon root 2 so we can see both semi major and semi minor axis has now become 1 upon root 2 times of previous value now once again we will be inscribing R2 inside this ellipse E2 and then we will be inscribing E3 inside that rectangle R2 and so on but every time we can check the values of semi major semi major axis and semi minor axis they will become 1 upon root times of the previous value so this E3 will become 3 upon 2 and 2 upon 2 and so on and so on so this nth ellipse if we see it will be 3 upon root 2 raised to the power n minus 1 and 2 upon root 2 raised to the power n minus 1 ok now let us see what options they have asked so first option they are asking is eccentricities of E18 and E19 are not equal now we can see that in every ellipse E1, E2, E3 both semi major and semi minor axis they are becoming 1 upon root 2 times but their ratio B upon A is always same ok and it is 2 upon 3 in fact eccentricity can also be obtained by the formula 1 root over 1 minus b upon a whole square so this will be root 5 upon 3 root 5 upon 3 ok so a option is definitely wrong now coming to b part length of latest rectum of e9 now we have found a relation for E n so for E 9 also we can find semi major axis let me call this as A 9 and that would be 3 upon root 2 power 8 and if we solve it we get 3 upon uh, it would be 16 2 power 4 16 yeah and similarly B 9 will be 2 upon root 2 power 8 so this will be 1 upon 8 2 upon 16 1 upon 8. So length of latest rectum as there is a formula 2b square here b9 square upon a9. So let us put these values 2 into 1 upon 64 whole divided by 3 upon 16. So if we simplify it we get this to be 1 upon 6. Yeah 1 upon 6. So let us see what they have given length of latest rectum of e9 is 1 upon 6 that is absolutely correct. Now let us do the D part first because they are asking distance of focus from center in E9 only. So for E9 distance of focus from center it is always 8 into E. Here in this case it will be A9 times E. A9 we have found 3 upon 16. E we have found root 5 upon 3. So this 3 will get cancelled and we get root 5 upon 16. So the distance of focus from the center in E9 will be root 5 upon 16. They have given root 5 upon 32. So this D is also wrong. Now let us come to C part which is asking the sum of areas of all rectangles as n varies from 1 to n for every positive value of capital N. Now as I was telling you for R1 we got a R1 area of this as 12 okay and if we find r2 as it was for ellipse 
it will be same for second rectangle also that its corresponding sides will become 1 upon root 2 times of its previous rectangle. So here area of this second rectangle should become 12 upon root 2 square because both sides are becoming 1 upon root 2 times 1 upon root 2 times so area will become 1 upon 2 times so this is 6 here. Similarly for R3 you can calculate A R3 will be 6 upon 2 that is 3 and so on. Now they are asking sum of rectangles, sum of areas of rectangles as n varies from 1 to n. Let me find sum of all rectangles as my n goes to infinite. Okay, so let me find sum of all the rectangles possible a r1, a r2, a r3 and so on up to infinite. This is simple GP with common ratio 1 upon 2 first term 12. So the sum here would be 12 upon 1 minus 1 upon 2 which comes out to be 24. Now one very interesting thing. Here sum is coming out to be 24 if we take all possible rectangles up to infinite. Okay. But if we take n capital N to be some finite number maybe very large number but finite number even then we will not be able to reach this number 24 because it's a limit which calculate all possible rectangles that are going up to infinite that means what they are saying in this B option that sum of areas of Rn will be less than 24 is absolutely correct because what I was getting there was the limit and here we are looking for all positive integer so whatever small it is but it will be smaller than 24 so this C option is also correct. So the answer for this question is B and C. I hope you like this solution. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for the next question. Bye.